We just saw somebody down the house in a field. <gasps> like she's super pregnant. She's like about to pop. She was ticked. Oh my god. Show her ass back. At this point, just call me Olivia Rodrigo because I'm having some deja vu right now. That was pretty good. Was uh, good? I'm proud of that one. Well, your animal, Dula. Dula Peep. Is back at it again to foster another pregnant animal. Oh, Lord. Here we go again. Here we mother effing go again. I also have a pierced ear and I'm growing out a mullet. Who is so she? this is my hardcore edgy era. Oh, yeah. Jelly. Very hot topic. Yeah. Hot uh -huh. topic or something. Um, okay. So anyways, we are here in Wasco, which is another two hours outside of L.A to go rescue another pregnant animal. And I'm so excited about this one because I have such a soft spot for huskies and this is a pregnant husky. Again, we're in the middle of nowhere. It's 90 degrees out. This poor mama needs a home to give birth to these babies that's not a million degrees outside mm -hmm. in the dirt, dusty fields. So huge thank you to Wagmore Pet for reaching out and asking me to foster again. I love working with them. So we're here, gonna meet up with Melissa, who's the owner and find out about this sweet girly, so let's go. Hi. Hi. Okay. We got her. Oh, yay. I can't believe you. I'm like, how did this happen? How are you? Yeah, I was like, if you ever have like a husky that needs a home, like I will gladly like drop everything and. But you specifically were like, I would love to foster a pregnant husky. Yeah. Like, you know, like I, I was like, if we see one. And then last night I get this text at like 9.30. Like we just saw somebody dump a husky in a field. Like <gasps> she's super pregnant. Wait, what? Yeah, they were just dumping this dog and they said she's super, I mean, I haven't seen her yet, but they said she's like, about to pop. They just dumped her? Dumped her, and like, it's been so crazy lately with the pandemic and everybody returning yeah. dogs, and we just had no place to put her, and I, I immediately said, hold on, I have one hope. We're literally in the middle of nowhere, like, a husky being here means like, it must have been someone's dog, right? Yeah, I'm assuming they just dumped her, and so I don't know when she's gonna, I have no idea, I don't know, like, what condition she's in, yeah. I don't know. Like if she's about to pop or how many puppies, so okay. we're gonna have to figure yeah, all that out. Take a look. But let's take a look. So they just said to go under the shelter. Oh my gosh, tumbleweed. We're super. Oh wow. Yeah, we're really out here. And one green eye, oh, one look blue. Look at the tumbleweed. Oh my god. Oh, oh she's so red. sweet. They said she's really good with their dogs too. Oh my god. Look at these sweet baby. And she's young. Look at her teeth. They're so white. It's like oh. all belly and then just like bone. bone. She's so sweet and the two different color eyes. Like this is my brand. I know. I love like this right here. Oh. And I wonder what those babies are gonna look like. Almost like I she's, she's very still has like round. another like maybe two weeks. Because she doesn't have milk yet. Okay. Like she'll take she oh. just had puppies before. Oh. So that's why they're so sure. hangy. You actually got them in there. I know. I'm like, they're not like someplace. You poor thing. She just needs some good food. Yeah. Some Joey love. Yes, absolutely. So we just got some information about her. So the owner of her basically surrendered her. Just didn't want her, which is so sad. But we're gonna take good care of her. So we got our leash. We're gonna head back to the car and then drive home. I'm about to go lay down. Hi, sweet girl. Don't be stressed, okay? Oh my god, she's oh, beautiful. Her eyes. She looks like a little cow. I love she has like little <laughs> cow spottings. I can't believe the two so different sweet. color eyes. That, that is no crazy. Eyes. I think this was a destiny. All right, we're home. Oh, she probably has to pee so bad. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, that's a big old belly. Come on. Ooh, this is nice. Gross. It don't smell like roaches in here or nothing. It's pretty nice. Hey girl. This water for you. Oh Sorry. my god, she has ticks. She does? Yeah, one just fell in the water. You're kidding. Look. <gasps> I like thought it was garden. a mole. She has them, look at on her ears. <gasps> she has a tick on her nose. They're like all over her, which probably means they're in the car now too. Oh great. I thought it was a freaking beauty mark. I know, you're like, oh she has a cute little, <laughs> little freckle. Shit. The fact that they're just like, <gasps> a flea just fell out of you're, her. Oh, I'm getting itchy. Oh wait, no, that's from the grass. <laughs> I'm sick. I'm getting itchy <laughs> from literally nothing. Oh, wait, look at her face. She has a huge one. <gasps> Joey, that's bad. Oh my God. Joey, that's bad. Well, now what? 
Well, now we need to go and get her tick and flea medication, like, ASAP. Back in, like, her checking, and there's a tick on the towel, which means... That... Ew, it's moving. Yeah, it's alive, girl. A baby one right there. Oh, I'm itchy. What the fuck are you gonna do? Get a new one. Yeah. We have to get a new Tesla. New Tesla. Because she was all over the car. Everywhere. Oh. One I'm right sick. There too. You're kidding. Sick. I'm sick. These are all the ticks that we found in the freaking car. This is wild. This is really bad. Like, there's gotta be, like, I'm gonna miss some, obviously. Yeah. And I lifted her up. Yeah. So, like, I'm like, are they on me right now? I need to check my head. Okay, so I reached out to Melissa at Wagmore and she has the medication and she has, like, a, a spray that we can spray inside my car. So she's headed back over right now to drop off the supplies. So, thank God for her. Also, so I'm inside. Oscar did a full cavity check of the mullet. It was very thorough. No fleas. I took my shirt off. Nothing there. I went into the bathroom, got undressed. We're good. I'm still like really paranoid that I have some on me. So I'm probably gonna go take a steam shower and burn my clothes. But first we have to take care of the situation. So she's also being quarantined right now on the side of the house in a spot where the dogs never go. She's just dropping fleas left and right. So <sighs> it's scary, Mooney. I don't want, I don't want you to get the flea. Oh, this is not what I expected. It, it's so sad because that just means she has probably 10 times more than what I found in my car. So poor girl is going through it, but the medication will help her and then I'll give her a bath to wash them all off. Very sad. Mm, what happened that tip? This is a, a natural, like it's like diatomaceous earth. Okay. So they said to like put the powder all over her and the ticks eat it and it actually kills them. Oh. So it works very oh, quickly. Oh, so just like. Like it's powder. Okay. I've and then after you do the powder, like yeah. let it sit for like an hour okay. and this you can spray in your car if any of the ticks like don't want to come off like mo they said most of them will but you could just pick them off with this thing she has one on her face that's really big i could i'm i'm not freaked out by ticks okay. and then ticks cause worms so oh, okay i bought quad dewormer okay. so just give her this and they said one deworming is okay. fine where is her face one? Oh my lord why on earth oh but my god <laughs> Look at you just holding uh, it in your hands. And then this is all the stuff. So put so first the powder. Powder on her. Powder on her, like all over her. And she said you could use this as rug powder on your car too if you want. Yep. Cool. All right, thank you. All right. Oh, wow. Joseph. It's an exfoliator. She's enjoying it. <laughs> the spa. I think you need gloves to like work it in. She's such a good girl. I know, poor thing. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? What are you doing to me? All right, Tex. You thought you saw the last of me, didn't you? Y'all, it's Let over. <laughs> Enjoy your nice bath. It actually smells kind of nice. It's kind of fresh. <coughs> That's a little strong. Oh, it's like natural ingredients. Clove oil, lemongrass, cedar oil, cinnamon oil, and sodium lauryl sulfate. I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but girl, I am living. It's a bit later. It's been about an hour. And I'm going to try and pluck the ones off of her face. That's the one. We legit thought it was a beauty mark. Her little mall. Come here. I need it. I need to do it when you're here. Oh, big. That is sick. I feel like this is like Dr. Pipple Pop, Pipple, Pimple Popper. I, this is wild. Like I've literally never done anything like this before. Oh my God. There's huge ones right here. Do you see that? Oh, oh I'm sick. Holy shit, that's huge. I'm gonna throw up. Okay, so now it's time to feed her. So I put in the deworm medication at the top. So hopefully she'll get into it. She can smell it. Are you hungry? That's <laughs> for you. Never in my life have I ever uh -huh. tasted something so delicious. She is going to town. Mm -hmm. What a day. Yeah, it has been a lot. I am gonna keep her separated tonight. I'm going to bring out some towels for her tonight. Obviously, I'll have some dry food and water for her to eat throughout the night, but I just can't risk the ticks getting in my yard and becoming an issue. So she has to stay quarantined here and she'll be fine. I mean, this is better than where she's been. So I'll keep you guys updated. Well, good morning, you guys. Someone escaped and I'm very worried about your belly. Although Sakura got into crazier places that were much smaller with her belly. So anyways, it's the next morning. I have her food to feed her and she was here. She was, she got out. She, you dug a hole. You dug a hole. 
So she dug this hole, she fit through there with her belly. And that like obviously makes me worry about her babies. Oh, hi sweet girl. We're gonna get you bathed up today, okay? I'm filling up this tub. I'm gonna do the Dawn dish soap and I'm going to add a little bit of this into there. Like Mar said that I could use this on her. So I'm gonna use a bit of this and just wash it off immediately. But I have tried a sample of this on the actual ticks and it does kill them. It's all natural ingredients, it's just basically oil. So we're gonna give her a nice little bath and kill all those ticks. Damn it. Do you want a nice little bath? Come on the water for him. I've already taken another like 10 ticks off her this morning. Hold on. Warm. Can I get you in the bath, maybe? She said absolutely not. Okay, let's have you sit. I don't want to stress you out too much. You're being a very good girl. Good girl. We're gonna kill all those bugs off of you. Get all of them off of you. Ugh, disgusting. The bugs that are on here. There's just so many ticks on you, girl. You guys, this is this is really bad. Like I'm just. So gross. There's just so much like dirt and like little things in her fur. So gross. And you just like keep digging through her fur. Ugh, it's just so bad. And then you'll of course come across like a tick in here that you have to take out. Well, we're just gonna keep washing her. Is that one? There's one right there. So disgusting. Hi. You're such a good girl. I'm just gonna continue washing her, you guys. She's such a good girl, though. I know, mama. Okay, so Melissa from Wagmore came over and dropped off these pills that will actually kill the ticks from the inside out. It takes like 24 hours, which is really good because there's just so many that are hidden that I just don't know about. So these will do it. So I just, I'm gonna put it in some food and then tomorrow she's actually getting professionally groomed, which will be amazing because they'll be able to fully cleanse her. The boys are following me because they're like, ooh, you got food? I want some. No, Wolfie, you beast. Well, let's go look at her. She's looking much cleaner. Would you like this? It's tasty. Eat your pills, kill the bugs. No, you have to eat this. It's yummy for you. Yeah, you're looking so much more clean. Good girl, that's yummy. Oh my God, did you just eat one of the pills? Good girl. You just ate just the pill. Good girl. Go ahead, get more. What do you boys think of her? I know you want to play and you want her food too, but you can't. She's infected. Okay, you guys, I think this is going to be where I end the video here. I'm going to start vlogging my experience with her. So if you guys want to go check out my blog channel, I will leave that as a link down below. You can go follow her journey. I got an at-home ultrasound machine that I'm going to use on her to see how her babies are doing, how many babies there are. So I am curious how many babies you guys think there's going to be. So leave a comment down below with your guess i have a feeling that she has seven i don't know she has such a big belly so who knows i have felt them kick so they're doing all right as far as i know but yeah that's where we're at right now but anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please please give it a big old thumbs up and until next time i'll see you next time good damn bye